Gongura chicken. Hi, welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. I'm Rupa here. Let's do a chicken which is very differently prepared. It's cooked in gongura leaves, so it's called as gongura chicken. The gongura leaves are a different type of leafy vegetables, not very commonly used, but very uh, frequently used in, I think, the eastern part of India and the southern part of India. It's called in Marathi, I know as Ambadi. It's very tangy in taste. So in this recipe, we are not using any curd or tomatoes because the tanginess is really sharp in these leaves. So it's a different style of chicken and I hope you make it. So let's go ahead and look at the ingredients. We have about 750 grams of chicken, a tablespoon of minced garlic, a tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, a tablespoon of poppy seeds, two green chilies finely chopped, a teaspoon of garam masala, a teaspoon of cumin seed powder, a teaspoon of cumin seeds, a teaspoon of coriander seed powder, a teaspoon of chilli powder, salt to taste, two onion finely chopped, some coriander for garnishing and a cup of gongura leaves which are chopped in the market. You can see them, they are in season now. Oil for cooking. To begin with, we are going to just stir fry the leaves and put them aside. So take a shallow pan, add about a teaspoon of oil. Once the oil is gone hot, add the minced garlic. Okay, saute for a minute. Add the green chilies, fry till a nice fragrance is given and add the gongura leaves. Stir fry them till they reduce in quantity and the color of the leaves change as they start cooking. They turn a little pinkish brown in color. You can see them turning pinkish brown. At this stage, keep it aside. Take a kadai or a wok. Add about a tablespoon of oil. Once it goes nice and hot, add the ginger garlic paste. Fry it for a minute. Add the onions. Saute till it goes translucent. Till the onions are going soft, let's grind the poppy seeds to a fine paste. Add the poppy seeds, add a little water. The poppy seeds is ground to a nice fine paste and the onions are cooking here with the ginger garlic paste. At this stage, add the cumin seeds and the poppy seeds paste. Mix well, add the chicken on high flame, mix the chicken with the onion mixture and let it get nicely coated with the mixture. Let's start seasoning it, add the salt, add the garam masala, the cumin seed powder, the coriander powder, add all the dry masala one after the other and the chilli powder. Let the masalas all lock the flavour with the chicken. Add very little water, say about half a cup, cover and cook for about 10 minutes. The chicken is cooking for about 10 minutes. The oil is nicely separated and the masala is cooked. Let's check on the chicken if it's done. We don't want it completely to be done because we're going to cook it further with the gongura leaves. It's done enough to add the gongura leaves. So at this stage, let's add the stir fried gongura leaves to it. Mix well. Cover and further cook for 5 minutes. The 
chicken is cooking with the gongura leaves and we have already stir fried the gongura leaves so they won't take time to cook it's all done as you can see it's all come together very nicely there's a nice tangy aroma coming from the gravy it's a thick preparation not actually a gravy so let's take it out for serving Let's garnish it with some coriander. The gongura chicken is ready. A very different preparation and a different combination with the chicken. I hope you try it and have it with nice steamed rice.